Con Con Congressman, um, I wanted to ask you about the Mohila situation. It's been going through tough times, and Democrats have been saying that the Lewis and Clark Discovery Initiative is at fault. Number one, is it at fault for Mohila's situation? And two, what would you do as governor to rectify, if anything, the troubles Mohila has been, been having right now? And on the record, in case you have it, don't have it. I, I supported the Lewis and Clark Initiative, uh, and I'm, I'm not sure. I'd, I certainly know where the Attorney General is on that issue, and so he it puts us at odds. The reason I was for it was because I've seen, uh, depending upon the benchmark that you see, uh, that you utilize, that higher education in Missouri is either 47th or 44th as far as public funding goes, and so this infusion of monies for infrastructure for some pretty prominent campuses here in the state, I absolutely support it. Now. Could the timing have been better? Yes. In fact, the timing couldn't have been worse as far as uh, Congress uh, looking at the subsidies that were being paid to lenders. Uh, so that was part of this. This was long before the subprime issue hit. Uh, and so, uh, you know, Mohila, they, they are a little bit in arrears as far as making those payments to the state, uh, but they are going to make those whole. And, and ultimately, uh, what we're looking for is to provide student loans, availability of student loans for any child in America, but in this case for any child in Missouri that chooses to go that route. So yeah, they're, they're a little in arrears as far as the amount of money that the deal had suggested that they pay to our state government, but uh, that money will be made up. And once we get through this credit fiasco nationally, uh, I suspect uh, that, that the ship will write itself as far as it relates to the Lewis and Clark Commission. Last night, you didn't go campaign over at the Ron Paul event. Why not? Uh, I've, we had some stellar uh, speakers here last night, and uh, you know, <laughs> well, well, you could have gone to Ron Paul too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, our family is here. We're trying to make this as much of a family vacation as, as possible, and the girls are hopefully. Uh, We've got our own babysitter, and so the girls are swimming somewhere. Uh, you know, Ron is uh, is an interesting guy, and, and uh, I've served with him uh, for, for many years in Congress, and uh, has some some interesting ideas, and, and some of them I absolutely agree with: the sovereignty of our country, enforcement of our laws on the border. Uh, you know, all of those things that, that I support. We disagree on the war on terrorism. We disagree on things as far as uh, pro-growth policies to, to keep growing prosperity in our country and our, in, in our state. And, uh, and so I was proud to be here last night. Disagree on I mean, the gold standard too, I mean, right? Yeah, that's, that's another thing that, uh, you know, yes, the, the gold standard, going back to the days of the gold standard. One, one last one. How do you reach out to those folks who think you're just part of the Washington machine that has run up deficits and, and not been very responsible and made government bigger? Again, point to my record. But you know what? I'm not running for a federal office. I'm running for this state office, the highest office that our state offers, and that is to be the ch chief executive, the governor of our state. And what I hope to do is you know, let them kick the tires, let them take a measure of the man, let them understand the values that I hold, let them see uh, the passion that I have for our state. Let's talk about the vision of how we move our state forward, whether it's uh, being more accountable with our public education monies or trying to bring jobs here, helping lift people uh, uh, off the public rolls. Uh, those are the types of themes, and actually, the, the, not just the Ron Paul supporters or conservatives, but uh, I want to appeal to Republicans, independents, libertarians, Green Party, and like-minded, right-thinking Democrats. Uh, that's what it's going to take to win this election for governor, and I want to appeal to any and all of those groups.